Hey everybody, what's going on? Jonathan Perez here. And um, last video, I showed you how to do a pretty basic and generic um, toggle with jQuery and Beaver Builder. And it pretty much works like this. You uh, click the button and we're targeting the ID of this, which allows it to hide and show. But uh, one of the questions that came up was, can you do that to multiple elements on a page? Now, since this is just targeting an ID, uh, technically an ID is only one element, but I'm gonna show you how to actually change that and do multiple things on a page. So let's uh, open up the page builder. I'm gonna scroll down here, and uh, let's just take a look at our code really quick. Under layout settings, I'll click JavaScript, and you'll see here that we have the ID being targeted. Now, let's say we don't want that. What we have to do is you really got to pay attention to the way the 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 page is, is laid out. And um, actually, before I do that, just to just to show you, the way Beaver Builder does it is every module has its own div tag. So this module is one div tag, this module is another div tag, and this module is a completely separate div tag. And I'll show you right now what that looks like over here. So I'll close this. So you see it being highlighted down here. That's one div, two divs, three divs. So when you add the ID or the class in Beaver Builder, what it's actually doing is it's adding it to the main um, div wrapper for that class. So now when we go into JavaScript, what we're going to do is we're just going to target any element before the button that we need to click. So I'm going to head over to Tools. I'm going to go to Layout Settings, click on my JavaScript, and now instead of targeting the ID, which is Show More, I'm going to get rid of the quotes. I'm going to type this, which means Toggle Script. I'm going to click, I'm not going to click, I'm going to type Previous, which basically just gets the previous sibling of the element that you're trying to hide. So toggle script is this button right here because this has the class of toggle script and previous would be the div element before it which is what we're trying to hide and show. So just by adding this and previous I'm able to target the element before what I want to target. So let me just um, publish the changes real quick and then you can see it should still work exactly the same way which it does. Now the ultimate test is let's add it somewhere else. So if I go to page builder, all we really have to do is just duplicate this. So let's dupe it, uh, move it, uh, let's move it down here. And now be careful because when you click this, it's gonna hide the element before it right now. So maybe when you're doing it, you may want to add the, the content that you want to hide first and then change it. Totally up to you. So let me just add some more gibberish text. Text more gibberish text goes here. Save that. And actually, you know what? Just for visual sake, let's let's move this to the other side. Okay, so I'm gonna click save, publish the changes, and now if I click more gibberish text, that's gonna show and hide. If I click it here, that's just show and hide. And now you can pretty much do that anywhere. If you wanna get really technical, so this is the click here button, but remember we're actually in that little JavaScript code, we're targeting the entire div. So if I click here, it's gonna show and hide. Um, if I click here, this will show and hide. If you want to get technical, um, I mean, I'm not a super jQuery pro. I'm sure there's a ton of other ways to do this. But let's say you go into layout settings, you can really specify um, what you want clicked. But the more specific you get, the more you're going to have to add this little previous um, tag. Meaning, if I right click and inspect element, uh, you see I'll have this div here. If I want to just specify the button, I can do uh, class toggle script a FL button. And then when that's clicked, if I want the element before it, I would have to do 
previous, previous, previous. Or actually, this would, this, this would be parent. So you would do parent, 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 <laughs> then previous. It gets a little confusing. So if you want to really get technical and you want to do that, it will get a little confusing and tricky. Um, that's the only way I know how to do it. Uh, it would be parent, 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 and then previous, and that would target this element. And the way you look at that is uh, previous and next are siblings. Parent and child are the tag wrapping it or the tag that's being wrapped, right? So this is the parent. This is the child. I'm kind of getting a little into jQuery and JavaScript and how that works. Hopefully, I didn't confuse you with that. Um, for now, just keep it simple. You could target the whole row if you want, and then it would be previous, and that would take the uh, module right before it, hide it, and show it. As you can see, it's done here. So hopefully that didn't confuse you, but you can literally add elements anywhere you want on the page now, and as long as you click it, it'll hide and show. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Um, hit me up on Facebook or wherever you can find Surefire Web Services or beaverbuildervideos.com. Thanks. I'll see you next time.